In this video, I'm going to cover React Navigation deep linking, how to set up your project, and a few things I found a bit lacking from the docs right now. What's good, people? This is Rock Codes. I'm Rasheen. I want to help you code something awesome. So today, I just wanted to cover real quick how to set up deep linking with React Navigation. It's a common question I see, and it seems like there's a, a bit of things missing out of the docs that would kind of make this a bit more clear on how it works. Could be that I'm just not a React Navigation expert, but by the number of questions I'm seeing, I'm guessing a lot of other people aren't catching it as well. So let's go over real quick what project we have here. Um, the example project I have is a, is a basic React uh, Native project, React Native CLI, literally followed the React Navigation documentation to set this up, um, which I have open here. So all I did is I, f I generated a React Native CLI project. Um, I'm using TypeScript. It doesn't matter if you do or not, it has no bearing on any of this. Um, and then I follow these instructions here from the getting started guide on react navigation, including installing the native dependencies, um, installing the, the uh, this section here for installing dependencies into a bare react native project. And then, um, from there, I jumped over to the section on deep linking right here. This is part of where the confusion starts and keep in mind, um, this should work. If you follow the docs thus far, whether you're doing a React uh, native CLI application or an Expo application, please pay attention in the docs as it kind of jumps between the two within the same page and it can be confusing, um, which is only part of the issue. So, yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of technical details that it talks about with how the URL is received by the app. I guess I should explain deep linking means that an, uh, a link on your mobile device will open your application and pretty much you can make it any uh, URL you want. Um, it's only valid, of course, on your on your device that has your app. Uh, it basically allows you to link directly to a specific screen in your app or maybe just a link that opens your app. Uh, you know, you, you, there's a lot of options you have and React Navigation does make it easy to deal with this. Um, the issue is in setting it up. So on this page, it kind of covers that, um, you're using this linking, uh, setup or configuration, and you basically will add this linking here, um, where you specify the prefix for whatever URL you want to use, which will be more clear once we dive into the code here. In our code, we have the basic example code for the React Native CLI app. All I did was take this entire scroll view and all the boilerplate -y stuff, and I made that into just one of my screens in my navigation, the home screen that receives the navigation prop. I threw in a button here, which allows you to navigate to, let's get that out of there. The other screen, which is just the detail screen, which you'll set that up in the react navigation docs, uh, as part of the, the getting started guide. And in that detail screen, you'll see that we are also get the navigation prop there to go back to the home screen. Easy peasy. Um, we'll talk about this route parameter here in a second. So we have a stack navigator. It's only two screens. The confusing part for me was in setting up this linking parameter, which allows you to do the deep linking. This is the configuration that I ended up with. So basically any link that starts with RN deep colon and then whatever. Um, my app will be set up to handle. Let's open up a terminal and we can see how to test that out. And I'm on Android. So all I really did was, yeah, I did this. See this one line here negates all of the rest of these code changes. As far as I could tell, all I did was N was this NPX command, NPX URI scheme add. You tell it what the uh, the protocol part of the URL is going to be. In my case, I chose RN deep. The example does my chat and then dash dash Android and all this other stuff. Don't do all this other stuff. It's completely irrelevant. So where you want to jump back in at is how to test this thing. In this case, they're doing this NPX URI scheme open, and then you give it the URL that you want to open. So let's copy this into the terminal. We will edit it. And so again, uh, I'm doing RN deep 
for React Native Deep Linking. And so I've set it up so that if the URL doesn't match anything specific in my screens here, in my config here, then it'll just go to the home screen. Um, and if it has this playlist with the ID, it will take that into the details screen, which specified here. So let's give that a try. We'll do playlist slash two and let's get our emulator back up. So here you'll see we're on the home screen. So if I run this command, it should take us to the detail screen. And boom, you see we're on the detail screen. One thing we want to check is if we completely kill this app, right? Will it still open up to that detail screen? And as you can see, somehow magically it does. Um, so that that's one thing. And the part here that is a little weird is in setting this up. Now I thought, okay, I'll just follow the doc and we, and it should be good to go, but uh, it, it is a bit confusing. So for react native, ignore all of this, unless you're actually using a third party integration like Firebase or whatever this branch thing is, do not do any of this. Please don't do any of that is generate your URL which actually modifies in Android, the manifest file, the main manifest. It's really just kind of adding this in. The meat of how all this works, besides getting it set up, is in this configuring link section. And that is where we get this example. So looking at these docs, again, this is the meat of how you set up these deep links. It, this basically defines how your app, once it receives the correct prefix, it's gonna parse this URL and, and break it up into possibly state that is passed in or params or props, props that are passed into your configured screens that receive those URLs. So in this case, um, I have home, just if nothing matches, it goes to home. If there is a playlist ID specified in that your, that deep link, then it's gonna go ahead and pass that information to the detail screen. As you can see, that's why we have this route parameter being used for the detail screen. And this route.params would include the ID here of two, which we, uh, assuming we pass two as that ID. And, you know, obviously you can see the possibilities there of being able to pass information from outside of your app into your app to a specific screen. Very powerful. Um, however, looking through the docs here, you can see where it starts to talk about these routes and this state, which I, I personally didn't dig in too deep, but I'm not sure what it's talking about. I don't know if this is like react state, or maybe this is just ha another, maybe this should be related to the section on passing state through the re react navigation. I don't know, but I didn't feel like digging into all of that because that's not what I was trying to do. So this got a little confusing, um, but so this is where, where the meat is here is where I kind of started to catch on is we can just tell it what screens do what for our deep linking. Okay. So it's not as complicated as it seems. Get a prefix in there, get a config in there, which is something as simple as this, right? And then you pass that to your navigation container, as you see here, and you're good to go. If that doesn't work, go back and, and look at what you're doing. Because if you start getting more complicated than this, I would assume that you are a pretty much a, an expert at React Navigation and how all this works. Maybe you're trying to do something fancy. Um, other than that, you shouldn't need to specify any of these other, like in this deep linking section, you can get really gnarly with this config. This is the same config. We're just ending up passing it all kinds of functions that do custom logic and whatnot that are taking things outside the realm of how the standard links work. And it's, it's, uh, depending on, uh, you know, some special, uh, situation where you would need to handle for like Firebase or some other third party service where it's getting the links some other kind of way, or maybe they're a different format and it's, uh, you know, simplest configuration. It's very easy to understand. You're just going to set up this linking config. You're going to give it a config with some screens that tell it what these URLs are going to be. 
you can see where you could expand on this a bit. It's going to pass that it, it, by default. React navigation is going to parse this URL into some, some object in state that's going to pass to your component as params, and then you're good to go. It already works if your app is closed. I tried to do this a couple years ago in a React navigation app with Firebase, and it was absolutely not this easy. It was quite horrible. I did not like it at all. Um, but this here is pretty magical. So if you have any questions on this, or if you do want to see how we would set this up with something like Firebase, please leave me a comment, thumbs up the video. Uh, please remember, even if you decide to subscribe, hit the notification bell as well, or you still won't see any of my videos because YouTube is fantastic in that way. Peace.